Wow. Uh, I guess this video is probably going to be slightly longer than the fight. Uh, but yeah, Johnny Fisher has beaten Alan Babic in round one. Uh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I was expecting Johnny Fisher to win in KO Alan Babic, but not in 36 seconds in, in, into the first round. Put it that way. But yeah, uh, fair play to Johnny Fisher. And the thing is, though, like we don't even fully know what level the guy is at right now, though, because... How first of all, how good is Alan Babic actually though? That's the thing. Like we've all been questioning him after he lost to Brzezowski, and rightly so, if we're being honest. Uh, and you know, now after this, how easy what well, how easy it was for Johnny Fisher, you know, you question him again. It's like Alan Babic hasn't really got much of a chin, if we're being honest. Like he's a you know, he, he he's a good like you know, I like Alan Babic, he's a good fighter, you know, he comes forward and you know, likes a brawl with you, but at the end of the day, it's just not just not on a great level. That's the thing. And with Johnny Fisher, I did exactly what had to be done to a kind of guy like this, 100%. Fair play to Johnny Fisher. Picked his shots really well. The lead hook was really good. He was very quick with his shots as well. Quicker than uh, quicker than I thought as well, actually, to be fair. Uh, quicker than I remember Johnny Fisher being. You know, he's very quick with, with his shots. Timed his shots really well. Picked them well. Good shot selection. Good combinations. Very explosive. He's a good, 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 real big, promising fighter, in my opinion, Johnny Fisher. And he's one for the future, future world champion, in my opinion. He's very, very, very good. But as of now, what level is Johnny Fisher actually at? We've already gone over the, how long the fight was. But how, what level is he actually at? Like, who could we stick Johnny Fisher in there with next? Because Alan Babic, it's like, I just don't even fully know with him. Like, it's like he's... You know, people were fairly thinking highly of him, but now it's just gone downhill. The hype train of Alan Babic just completely ended. For Johnny Fisher, it's difficult to see who you stick him in there with next to, you know, try and really make it competitive. Like, I thought coming into this fight today, Alan Babic would, you know, try and put Johnny Fisher in a bit of deep waters and Johnny Fisher might have to dig deep to win, but he didn't have to do that at all. It was just easy. First overhand that Johnny Fisher basically landed on Alan Babic you know, he made Babic turn his head a little bit and then come back and then he calls him again. Alan Babic kind of turned a bit because every shot Johnny Fisher landed on Babic massively affected him today. I mean, Johnny Fisher's so good at just landing massive haymakers. He's such a dangerous puncher, Johnny Fisher, and his timing's very good, catches you when you're coming in. But to be fair, Babic just walked right into his shots with his hands down, chin wide up, high up in the air, square on. He was just there for the taking for Johnny Fisher and that style that Babic's got, it's just easy for Fisher to deal with. Like, I was saying on my watch along for this fight, I was like, possibly Carlos Takan for Johnny Fisher next. Like, he's 43, coming to the end of his career. Fisher could probably be at that level now. And it's like, then you think, 43-year-old Carlos Takan, he's got a very similar kind of style to what Babic's, uh, to what Babic does. Like, Carlos Takan's, you know, best with the higher guards and all that, and has actually got all right defense. But eventually, Fisher will break Carlos Takan, in my opinion. I think his style's kind of tailor-made for Johnny, for someone like Johnny Fisher to deal with. Kind of comes forward, likes to come forward square on, trying, you know, likes to bulk over, big overhands. But he's going to eventually drop his hands and be there for the take, and that's the thing. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Johnny Fisher just did what exactly what he needed to do today to Alan Balik. But, I mean, you know, I also said on the watch, like, Tony Yoka? No, probably not. Tom Swartz for Johnny Fisher. Like, I'm trying to think of realistic Matt, fights, but that's not really like Rhea Murray. Like, that could be one to be fair. He's coming off a loss to Anderson. And then it's like, you know, that could really be, be a fight to really test the level of Johnny Fisher if he fights Murray. Like, possibly that one. But it's a difficult situation for who to match Johnny Fisher that up with, in my opinion. Though. That's the thing. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what John uh, to, to see uh, what Eddie Hearn does. Like Joseph Godal, like he's coming off a loss with Jabba or something, I think. So again, like let's see what level Johnny Fish is at. Puts him in there with someone like that. Like there's some interesting names, but I mean, you do you really want to take the risk this early on? But again, like you would have thought Adam Babbitt would have been a bit of a risk and. Look at what Fisher did there, though. I mean, Fish is improving every fight. He's improving absolutely every fight. But I mean, that's the thing. I, I'm dis like you know, I'm, I'm disappointed that Alan Babic had to go out like that because let's be real, the guy should probably retire if we're being brutally honest. Babic should probably retire after that. 
but yeah for johnny fisher he, he's he's one of the future guys in the heavyweight division 100 percent. he's very good to watch he's very explosive picks his shots well and at the right time but yeah for, for alan babic it was just i just don't know why you're walking into shots like that when you're fighting someone like johnny fisher though like have a higher guard stay low try and bulk over over as like stay low like he just came in so upright square on with his chin wide up in the air that's what about it did of course john someone like johnny fisher who's explosive who's accurate with his shots whose timing's good of course he's gonna finish you that early like i said round seven but i don't know what i was thinking with the style of alan babbitt i, I thought you, alan babbitt would have came in with a higher guard but he didn't know so yeah that was me being a bit of a dumbass there but yeah good performance though from johnny fisher good performance from johnny fisher um very 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 good but next fight you know eddie hearn he's got an interesting job on his hands to see who he's going to match up johnny fisher with next also as well though it's like johnny fisher we should see him fairly soon as well though like if we're being honest matchroom like what matchroom show could we see him on like he took no damage there at all i'm sure he's going to want to fight again pretty soon because that basically was wasn't a fight. He was just an absolute just beating where he just went in there, just laid him out easily. Like, you know, if we look at a good matchroom show, that makes sense to put him on. I, I honestly feel like, yeah, August 24th, you can stick him on the Catra versus Pro Grey card in Manchester. I honestly feel like you could. It makes sense. Stick Johnny Fisher on that Catra Pro Grey card like it makes all the sense in the world like yeah there's not many fights on that card either so you know get that done in my opinion get try and bring over like Riyad murray get him up against johnny fisher try and get in contact with tom swartz or something like that but yeah make sure it's someone like better than babic like i don't know how rosanski would feel like moving up to heavyweight but uh, if he wanted to go with johnny fisher that'd be interesting but yeah, because I don't think Johnny Fisher will finish uh, Rosansky early, but he Fisher will win. But yeah, um, it, Rosansky can't cause can't cause your problems. But yeah, that's why I thought about that. It though, but didn't happen anyway. Gonna win this video. If, uh, congratulations to Johnny Fisher, fair play. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace out.